Welcome back, friends, and another Say It With Your Chest video. Um, someone did ask me what to say it with your chest mean. And um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me. Um, say it with your just, chest is kind of just like we're going to talk about different subjects and topics and we're going to say it with our chest, which means we're going to say exactly how, I, how we feel and we're not going to be criticized for it. We're not going to be bashed for it. We're not going to, there's not going to be any bullying or anything like that. Um, I am big on one thing that I'm big on is everybody has their own opinion about everything and you are entitled to feel that way. Don't come over here telling me how to feel. I won't go over there telling you how to feel. One thing about social media is we feel like we have the right to make people do what we want to do and feel how we want to feel. And that does not happen here with Miss Fearless, honey. So if you have something you want me to talk about, you can remain anonymous. It can be a story, something happened to you. Um, sometimes we do celebrities and, and what do you think about that and how would you handle it? And we just say it with our chest and you're more than welcome to comment down below and say it with your chest. But the bullying, the demeaning will not be tolerated. I don't mind the thumbs down because I get credit for the click and the watch anyway. So go ahead. I have some famous people out there. There are about two or three famous people that will automatically thumbs down my video. And I absolutely love it. So welcome to the thumbs downers as well. Okay. All right. So this is what the person said. And I really had to think about, about this one. So it says, how about you have a good friend for years and your man or woman does not speak to them that much in person at all. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, they want to request a friendship with your man or woman on social media. This is your friend, the friend that you rant and rave things about. You know, share your deepest thoughts and secrets about with your man or your woman. And now you're wondering why after so many years, they're looking him up and requesting him on social media. They don't mention anything to you about it. I did have to ask the date time so I know what I want to do with it. So I said, how long has this friend been with um, the man and how long have they been friends with the, uh, the friend? So over 10 years for both. So you've had a man or a woman that you've been dating or been with or married to for more than 10 years. And then you have a best friend or a friend that you've been with for about 10 years. And that's why I wanted to clarify, is this a friend or a best friend? Or a friend friend. There's a difference. Okay. So here we go. Another thing is. Okay. You're not even friends on social media with their man or woman. So here's the thing. This is a touchy subject for me. And um, I also ran it by my husband. And my best friend. And so for me, you have to watch social media and you have to watch people. That's the biggest thing right now with social media. Here's the thing. If you're going to request my significant other on social media, I need to know about it this late in the game. Okay. Here's the thing. When I first started dating my husband and we went steady, everybody knows we're going steady. My sisters, my brothers, my cousins, my aunties, whatever. I have one best friend friend like right here with me best friend close to me i have a couple of social media best friends and uh, but one best friend that i've known for over 10 years she's my kids god mother friend when i first started dating my husband and we became an item she automatically requested him and that was fine with me so right off the jump that's fine if that's fine if that's how y'all gonna roll but in this scenario if i had a friend that my husband did not speak to for all of these years, my first question would be, and I would know the answer to this question like within a year of going steady with this man, is why are y'all not speaking to each other? Is there something I need to know? What is the hostility? I should already know from my man if he don't care. Some men don't care for your friends. It's fine. But I, I already know that. And if this is a friend that I vent, 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 and rant and rave about maybe how this man does me and what he does, and I'm so sick of him, and I'm so tired of him, my friend may not care for him. And that's fine. I understand that. So I may understand why she don't care for him or speak to him or why he don't care for her or speaks to her. But if that is not the case, and it's just been years of them walking into a same room if my friend walk into my house right now and don't say what's up to my husband or whatever what's going on how you doing i want to know what's going on why are y'all not speaking what's the problem you know 
And if this is something that's been going on for years, then I already know what the issue is. And I'm like, okay, I know, whatever. Okay, so that's number one. You should already know why it's been years that they barely speak to each other. What's going on? Because, see, I pay attention to red flags all the time. Everything is a red flag to me. I use woman intuition for everything. Why y'all ain't speaking? Mm -hmm. What's up? Let me know. I want to know. Per. Per. Red. Yeah. That. Okay. Now, if this is something that has went on for years and nobody's ever addressed it, they haven't spoken, they go to events, they come to your house, she comes to your house, y'all have barbecues, cookouts. See, that would be weird to me. When we have get-togethers, if my husband or my man and my friend ain't saying two words, that would just be the weirdest thing to me. But if that's how it's been going on for years and years and birthday parties and this and that and the other, and they don't say two words to each other, just, hey, what's up? Okay. Now, all these years later, she has requested him on social media you got to scrape in me. You got to, no, we got to talk. I'm going to my friend. What, girl, what's up? What you doing? I know that you friend requested him and, and not that I mind, but hell, after 10 years, mention it to me. Let me know you're going to request him so you can watch my back. So you can see what's going on. See if any little chicks out there liking and commenting and poking and kissing facing. Let me know. Don't just request him after all these years. I'm not friends with your man. Maybe that's a kind of setup that y'all have. I'm not friends with your man. You're not friends with mine on social media. We're going to keep those boundaries. And with some people, you have to keep boundaries. I totally understand that. I've met some women before where I got to, it's boundaries, sis. It's boundaries with you. Perfectly fine. Then what are you doing now? Why are you doing this now? If it's a friend of that many years, I need to go have a drink with her and find out why all of a sudden she requested him and didn't mention it to me. Didn't shoot me a text. Like, shoot me a text. Like, girl, P.S. I requested JoJo. We're going to see what happened. We're going to see what's up. Something. Because we're besties for over a decade. Tell me something. And then if he approves her, he got to scrape me. Because why would you approve my friend that you don't care for, that you barely speak to, and not say nothing to me, not bang? Rebecca requested me. I'm just using random names. It's not the people. Rebecca requested me. What's up? You know, I don't do her. You know, somebody need to scrape me on the left side or the right side. That's all I'm saying. Now, is it a big deal? No. For a lot of women, it is not a big deal. And for me, like I said, it is not a big deal because mine are friends. But yours throws up a red flag to me. If they don't speak, they don't care for each other, they don't do each other, and then not all of a sudden somebody's seeking somebody out on social media, I don't like that. Loyalty is everything too fearless. Now, everybody else out there, y'all help this girl out and comment. Loyalty is everything to me. Don't start no new junk on me 10 years later. Now, if she would have came and said, girl, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to request him on Facebook. I'm going to see. You know, because, and you know what else I stopped doing with my best friend, too? And I used to do it a lot with other men in, in the beginning. Is I stopped telling so much. Because, and with my sisters. I have five sisters, and they will drop kick you. Oh, God. I stopped telling so much. Because sometimes you're just pissed off and upset. But you can cause someone to have judgment on someone else because you're angry for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. Now y'all back to love making, and your sister can't stand him because you hurting my sister feelings and what you did. And I do the same thing like you hurting my sister feelings and you over here. <laughs> you know. So sometimes... Even if, and your best friend is supposed to be the one you are supposed to vent to, true enough. But people can be overprotective of you. And people can develop feelings against other people by what you tell them. So I had to learn, like, not everything I get upset over do I need to make a phone call. And not everything do I get upset over do I need to send a text. Now, yeah, if we need to do a drive-by late night in your car, I'm calling you, okay? But not every little blow-up calls for you calling everybody including your besties because they will put a wall up for that person and judge that person and and things will go left when they may not need to go left and, and like you said this is a person you do all your rantings to and that's fine then she needs to keep it how it is she needs to just keep it out how it is she's your ranter 
She's the one that's going to know everything that's going on. She can speak to them when she comes to the house. They can talk, kick it, kick, kick it, you know, whatever. But the social media part, you want them to stay a part on. Totally your call. So it's it's kind of touchy-feely because I don't know why they're not speaking in the first place. Did something happen in the beginning? Um, do you know why they just don't care for each other? And whatever it is, it's fine. But you do need to find out why the script is flipping now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And a lot of times I find out that people know their man, too. You know your man. If you if something crossed your mind or something laying heavy on you, you know your friend, too. If something laying heavy on you, follow it. I ain't saying accuse nobody of nothing. I ain't saying go crazy. Follow it. Check up on it. Because a lot of times, you know, I had somebody that I know, and I told them about their man, um, and I synced it. And it kind of blew up in my face, but I found out later on that she knew about, she knew what she was dealing with. I thought I was looking out, but she knew what she was dealing with. I'm the type of person, tell me, I want to know. That's me. That's how I am. I want to know. Some women don't want to know, but they already know. Mm -hmm. So in this scenario, sis, I would say, take your girl out for drinks. Find out what's going on. Call her. Have a heart to heart with her. What's going on? Why the shift? Why the change? Why you ain't let me know? Do it very calm and subtle. Don't jump to conclusions as of yet. If your man approved her, then you need to have a sit down and talk with him. Okay, why you approved her without telling me and y'all barely speak to each other? I just think it looked kind of funny, but I'm open to hear what, you know, he might say, well, I thought you told her to request. Well, I thought you, would, you know, I ain't know why she requested me out the blue. Be open minded, but please pay attention pay attention to detail that's what you need to do both of them have been in your life a long time both of them um you got love for both of them um you're respecting her and you're not friends with her man or significant other and she may not care but yeah you need to you need to address it. I don't know if you have already, but you need to address it. Ladies and gents out there, and some men, men, if y'all are on this and y'all following me, I would love a man's point of view on some of this stuff because we always get the woman's side. But honestly, men think totally different from us. They're made different, built different, feel different, and think different. So my male followers, help a sister out, you know, and, you know, help a sister out and let her know from a male perspective. We are all ears. We're here. We're open. And hey, say it with your chest.